everybody, Wild Boy here. Welcome back to another video. Now, about once a year, every so often, I like to do, I clean my room up from top to bottom and do a, a room tour for you guys. Now, my room was a fucking pigsty for about a couple of months now, and I finally got around to cleaning it, which I should have done that on my break from work, but I finally got around to it on my day off and everything. I was going to do a walk and vlog video, but it was during lunch, during school rush, school lunch and everything, and everybody was going out of the driveway and everything, but I finally got my room all set up, my desk cleaned off and everything stuff put away and everything. Now the closet's still obviously a fucking mess, so I'm not gonna show you guys in there until I have some more time to figure that out to clean out my closet and everything. But all, there's no stuff on the floor, no drinks, no stuff, no nothing on the floor. I have, I have able to find a place to put my Funko and stuff like that and be able to show you guys what I have all over my walls and everything and stuff and kind of an update 2024 room tour. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so this is what you first see when you walk into the room. You got my computer, chair, stuff, uh, setup, and everything, my bed and everything all over here with my projector and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this wall right here because I did talk, I did my own personal video of that, so I'm not gonna go in too much detail about that, this video, but I'll go wide, but I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you guys is the $75 uh, Adsony Miku Roll Scroll. I won it, I found it at Missouri Comic Con. Uh, it, the guy said it was 75 bucks. I kind of heaved and hobbed about it for a little bit and then I talked to my par uh, dad about it and he said, you know, you make your own money, uh, buy whatever you want. If you want to get it, then go ahead and get it. So I finally talked me into getting this because I knew if I wouldn't get it, I probably would regret it and have this big nothing in the wall. But I, it was, it's a beautiful, beautiful wall scroll. And the guy said that the reason it costs so much is because it's out of print and everything kind of like you have with DVDs and games and uh, uh, CDs and books and stuff like that. So very, very beautiful wall scroll. Uh, it's a little bit crooked but that's okay sometimes i can tell and other times i can't i don't know if you can tell with the video or not but anyway and then over here we got my comic-con wall with pictures and autographs from other people and everything so so i'm not gonna go into much detail if you want to watch the video if you want to see the video of me going to in more detail the video i'll put the link in the description down below over here is my very the first comic con i ever attended northwest arkansas comic con in 20, january 2023 which was a really cool lineup up here i got an autograph from john heater who played napoleon dynamite a picture of me and steve burns from blues clues an autograph from billy west who played fry and future drama an autograph from great allow who played uh yumi and puffy yami yumi me and, a, and a, me a picture of me and a legendary great allow an autograph from Courage himself, Marty Grabstein. An autograph from she uh, Scott Imes, who played Shaggy and Scooby and Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost, which is my favorite Scooby Doo movie. An autograph picture of, my ch of me and my childhood hero, Steve from Blue's Clues. An autograph from the legend himself, Rob Paulson, who plays Yakko on Any Maniacs. And this is the 2024 lineup for Northwest Arkansas Comic Con. Me and Mario himself, Charles Martinet. Me and the legend himself, Rob Paulson. Me and Courage the Curly Dog himself, Marty Grabstein and the 2024 Atlanta from Missouri Comic Con. So very, very cool. Like I said, if you want to check out the, vi the video, we'll go into more detail, I'll put it in the description down below. Again, closet, you don't want to, you, uh, you don't want to see that right now. And of course I changed my um, my computer when my desk and everything is absolutely clean. I did change my wall, uh, wall uh, paper on my computer to midnight for my Harry Academia. Don't get me wrong, Rias will be still number one in my heart, but I'm slowly, slowly really liking Midnight for My Hero Academia. And I'm extremely pissed, not only am I extremely pissed off for her for her getting killed in My Hero Academia, but somebody actually ended up spoiling her death for me, so I'm really not happy about that, plus her death, so it sucks. But luckily, I still got a few more seasons to watch uh, before she ends up getting killed off. Now I got a couple of cool things on the wall. Uh, behind the microphone, I, I spend way too much money on this picture of Rhea's Grimmery. I got picture, I got me on the mountain coasters and Branson Coaster in Branson, Missouri. I got an autograph, a uh, drum head from Steel Panther from the Resurrection Tour when I stopped the Temple Live. Uh, my prize possession right here, uh, re, uh, an autograph, personal autograph from uh, Rhea's Grimmer herself, Jamie Marquis. I, am, I, have, I haven't met Jamie Marquis yet. I did get this from the GalaxyCon website. Uh, it took about a month and a half to ship, but I luckily I was able to get it pretty early, so really thumbs up for that. Hopefully one day I'll be able to uh, meet Jamie and show her my Rhea's tattoo because I tweeted the picture of, to the tattoo to her and she absolutely loved it. Over here, we got painted a pirate from SpongeBob. This was like five bucks at Hot Topic, and I wanted to get it. And of course, over here, uh, we got my VIP laminates. Uh, this one, Steel Panther on the Prowl VIP when they came to Fayetteville. Nickelback's VIP get rolling tour when they came to uh, uh, Rogers, Arkansas, Walmart Amp. And three Buck Cherry VIP laminates from this was the very new one, uh, very recent one of the. Uh, Volume 10 tour, this was from their first time I saw them, was a uh, war paint tour, and over here was the uh, Hellbound tour, they stopped the first time. And I think that's pretty much it on the wall. I got a, uh, um, blankets to hang up on my uh, uh, window because uh, the window don't open and it's, um, 
you cannot uh, there's no blinds to cover over here i got a picture behind the uh mmd of hachini miku calendar a vocal calendar i got siori behind this my hero academia poster which uh, wallace girl talked about it in a minute is a picture a photograph of yuri from my hero academia and of course you got my bed with all my plushes and stuff and everything i need to clean my bed and everything and make it over here i got a very nice wall scroll i got i got from vintage stock of my hero academia which goes into the class 1a characters and everything from Funimation and everything uh, I did throw away my wall scroll, original wall scroll I had of uh, uh, Deku Nomai because it ended up ripping. Uh, but I do have, I found this one. I should have got this one in the first place, but I'm glad I got it. I got a ukulele I got from a thrift store in Branson, Missouri. A picture, an expensive picture of Hatsune Miku. Over here, I spent about $15 on this uh, picture of Rita's Grimmery that I got in Northwest of uh, this year's Northwest Arkansas Comic Con. Um, over here, I, oh, I'll talk about that one in a minute. I got a um, picture i've had this up there on the wall for four years uh monica from ddlc handed me a cop uh, handed me a sheet of your reality song i got this one at a place at the at the Tulsa mall called iconic art uh this is a very very beautiful piece and it's wood so whoever did this episode did a fantastic job over here i got the steel panther uh 2023 on the proud tour list uh, of course they have big shows like big cities like vegas oklahoma city los angeles stuff like that but if you go to the um the four, fifth one, second or last one, you'll see on the third. Uh, the third one is Fayetteville, Arkansas, which I stopped at, at when I went to see them in that VIP and everything. You can't tell, but this is autographed as well. You can see uh, Satchel, Spider, Sticks, and Michael Starr down there. Now they had a rule to where you weren't. They weren't allowed to sign anything. It was like a two and a half. It was like five minute meet and greet. Go up, say hi, take the picture. And everything so that was worth it I got my money's worth and everything and i think that's pretty much it on the wall now over here over here i finally found a place to put my funkos and everything my my hero academia book set and my uh my hero academia damia blu-ray set so the videos you saw uh yesterday finally came to an end with the uh um collection with the man mangas and everything so and over here uh over here i got the my big projector you can i only can watch it when it's uh when i have to turn off the lights because it has a glare over here, I got a picture of the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. I picked up at the, th the thrift store from Branson, Missouri. Same thing for that Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz thing. I got a picture from the recent time I saw Buck Cherry on their Volume 10 tour. And over here, I got me and Steel Panther when they were on the Proud Tour in Fayetteville. And back to the door. That is pretty much an update of my room tour. Of course, when I first started doing this, uh, but yeah, very nice. So a lot of people don't realize this, but when I first started doing YouTube videos, so we're up until I was about 19 or 20 years old, I used to have nothing on my wall. I just like my wall plain with nothing on there, no no uh, pictures, no nothing at all. Then I finally came around to appreciate animes and stuff like that to where I finally was able to get my room all set up. I can't even buy any stuff I can hang up on the wall anymore because I got so much shit on the wall, it's not even funny. But anyway, I was able to find some room to the walls and everything, so it's very, very cool. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. I will post a link to the description below of the Comic Con wall video, which I go into more detail with that video. So uh, go check that out. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Uh, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you on a future video. Take it easy.